All right, today we're going to be talking about simple interest. And interest is something you owe when you borrow money from a bank, or it's something you earn when you put your money in the bank. So what do all of those letters mean in the formula I party, or I equals PRT? The I stands for interest. That's the amount of money you earn or owe over a period of time. P equals the principal. No, it's not Miss Parker. It's the principal or the starting amount. R equals the rate. It's a percent expressed as a decimal. So when you see the percents in a problem, you have to change it to a decimal. And T equals time, and time is always expressed in years. So if you see something in months, we have to change it to years. Mary deposited $500 into a savings account that pays 5% simple interest. How much money would Mary earn in interest over four years? How much money would she have in her savings account after four years? So we just simply write down the formula, I equals PRT, and then we have to fill it in. What was the original amount she started with? $500. How much interest is she getting, pay, or is she getting paid? 5%, so we switch it to a decimal. And then how many years? Well, four years. So to find this, all we have to do is multiply the numbers together. Now make sure you change that 5% to a decimal. So it's 500 times 0 0.05 times 4. And if you put those numbers together, multiply them together, you get $100. So after 4 years, she would have earned $100. Now, for the second question, how much money would she have in her savings account after 4 years? Well, that would be $600. How did I get $600? Well, I added the 500 plus the 100. All right, so Christy borrowed $600 to go on vacation. The bank loaned her the money at 2.4% interest. How much would Christy owe in interest after one month? So we do I equals PRT. Well, what was the starting amount? 600. What was our interest rate? Well, our interest rate in this case was 2.4%. So writing that as a decimal, that would be 0 0.024. And it said after one month. How do we work right one month? Because it wants to be in years, or has to be in years. Well, one month is one twelfth of a year. So you simply multiply 600 times 0 0.024 times one twelfth. And when you multiply all those together, the amount of interest she owes is 1.2. Okay, let's write that as money, $1.20. So if she borrowed $600 to go on a trip at 2.4% interest, after one month, she would owe an additional $1.20. It doesn't sound like a lot, does it? All right, so these are going to be a little bit different kind of problems. We're going to have to write these down. We're still going to write our formula down, but you're going to find out today that some of the things are different that are missing. So let's read the problem. Kim paid $40 in interest after borrowing $800 for two years. What was the interest rate she paid? Well, we know that she started out by borrowing $800. We don't know the interest rate. How much time? Two years. Oh, and how much interest was it? 400. So this interest is the amount that she owed after two years. So how do we find this? Well, we have to solve a little bit of an equation. So we have 440 equals 800 times 2 is 1600, using a little commutative property there, r. Then we divide by 1600, and we see what our answer is. So our answer is R equals 0 0.025, but that's as a decimal. We have to move it over a couple places to get our percent. So R equals 2.5%. All right, Anne deposited $500 in her account. If the bank pays 10% simple interest, 
how many years will it take for her to have $750 in her account? So once again, we go I equals PRT. She deposited 500. Now here's where it gets tricky. Oh, we know it's 10%, so we can go ahead and put the 0 0.10, and we don't know the time. But what number do we put for interest? Well, it says how long will it take for her to have 750 in her account? She already has 500. So really, she's looking to see how long will it take her to earn 250. So, once again, we have a simple equation. 250 equals, in this case, 50t. Divide by 50, divide by 50, t equals 5, and in this case it'll be years, because we know that time is measured in years. So that's how you use simple interest. It's I equals PRT. You'll probably want to get a little bit of help from your teacher on this, because it's not as simple as it sounds.